New South Wales residents are struggling to access care through general practitioners and in turn this is putting pressure on our emergency departments. This is according to the latest Bureau of Health information data. And joining me now to discuss this is the Health Minister Ryan Park. Ryan, uh, great to see you. So how bad is it exactly and what's your plan to fix it? Well, thanks for having us. This is a significant issue. What this report shows for the first time is something that I think many parents and many residents across New South Wales have known for a while. It's harder to get access to a GP and when you can get access to a GP, the number who are bulk billing is lower. What that is doing is two things, forcing more people to go to the emergency departments in the first place and use them as quasi-medical centres. And when they do go to the emergency departments, they're often sicker. And we see that because category one, two and three presentations, those very ill people are increasing. So those two things are putting enormous pressure on our emergency departments. And we're saying quite clearly to the Commonwealth, the state government is investing in areas traditionally not the responsibility of the state to take pressure off our EDs, including our urgent care services, our virtual care services, making sure that we give access to people through our pharmacies. But the reality is this, nothing replaces a GP. That is the primary responsibility of the federal health minister and the federal health government to do. We need them to step up to make sure that the community has ongoing access to GPs and as many of them are bulk billing as possible. Okay, so, I mean, you've got a, a few issues on your hands at the moment that aren't entirely unrelated. Nurses asking for a pay rise, for example, and haven't you just demonstrated why they perhaps deserve one? Because the ED departments are under so much pressure. Well, really pleasingly, we've increased the number of nurses by around 2,000 since being elected. You'll note that last year we removed the wages cap, so they got the largest pay increase they have sure. in over a decade. We haven't resolved um, what the current claim is, but we are in ongoing discussions. As early as this morning, we were in discussions with the nurses and midwives, and we'll continue mm. that. Um, the Independent, Relation, Independent Industrial Relations Commission will also be involved down the track, no doubt, but that's not a sign of um, ill faith. It's actually a sign of that the system is working and we are remaining at the table through those discussions. Have you upped your offer? No, not yet, but we are in discussions around what we may or may not be able to do. Obviously, mm -hmm. I'll have those discussions privately. That's the way in which I've always negotiated with workers and their representatives. We'll continue those discussions and we'll, as a government, continue to have those discussions, myself and the Treasurer and the Industrial Relations Minister. But we haven't got that resolved yet. That doesn't mean that we haven't invested heavily into nurses. We know that mm. their big ask in the lead up to the last election was ratios. We've already started rolling out ratios in our emergency departments and that's something that has never happened in New South Wales over many, many years of lobbying from the Nurses and Midwives Association. Can I just finally ask you about the council elections at the weekend? Perhaps a, a bit of a weird spot to go here with you, Rome, but uh, Labor got smashed in, in areas of the state, particularly kind of out of Western Sydney. Does that bode well for how you're going as a government at the moment? Are there any lessons from that or do you think they are just purely local issues? No, the Premier's made it clear that the results are on the weekend should be a big wake-up call for his government. And it's a wake-up call for every single minister, and I hope it's a wake-up call for every single member of parliament. We need to continue to do better, whether it's in health, education, addressing cost of living challenge, all of these things mm. means that the Premier has made it very clear, both to his cabinet and to caucus, that we need to continue to do better. And every single day, we've got to stay focused on the issues important to people. And what the lesson is, I think, for all parties, to be perfectly frank, out of the weekend's results is they need to continue to be coming back to the issues important to the men and women in our suburbs across Sydney, across New South Wales uh, and across the nation. And any government of any political persuasion or any political party who starts to move away from those issues will get a rude wake-up call. Ryan, thanks so much for your time this morning. We'll speak to you soon. Thanks for having me.